Hey ladies and gents, I uh, just thought I'd do a quick vid. Um, I've just been feeding everybody, giving them all the different types of food. I usually, each day, you know, there's probably half a dozen of different types of food that I put into here, but I'll probably only put four different kinds in. I always put in the flakes and I always put in these pellets here um, but the yabbies are every second day if needed during winter less uh, there's another type of crumble here um, the other ones they get mixed up like um, I'd say every second feeding they get a taste of each one sort of thing so that way their food gets buried they don't get sick of it all the rest of it uh, filters are going well it's about time for another filter changeover but the water is nice and clear it's hard. It's so bright here um, this is one of the highest towns in South Australia, so it's uh, it's quite warm in the summertime, quite cool in the winter, and it's always a bugger doing videos outside because it is so bright. Um, but what I wanted to show today was I did this video yesterday, but. As I just mentioned, it's so bright that it was useless. You couldn't see what I was actually trying to show. So I thought I'd do it again. So, um, I've noticed that there are baby fish in here now. Baby mosquito fish. And talk about small. These suckers are tiny. So I thought I'd... Um, grab one to show you if I can find one of the little fellas and there was one there but he's gone now These fellas are tiny, tiny, like, they just look like a bit of hair, to be honest. A little tiny bit of hair. Um, there's thousands of them in here, but as per usual, as soon as you go to actually find one to show someone, they're nowhere to be seen. Now these are the, the little tiny mosquito fish. There's one. Okay. There he is sticking to me fingers. to see here. I'll try and get him. Well, there he is over the top of my finger. Now that's how big they are. That little tiny thing just over the top of my There we go. It's in the palm of my hand this time. There he is. That's how big these little tiny mosquito fish are. I'm gathering it's a mosquito fish. I don't think it could be anything else. 
Yes. They are tiny. And uh, in the thumbnail of this vid, I'll actually put a pic of a little baby yabby that I got yesterday as well out of the uh, the filter. It's only maybe 10 or so mil long. Um, I don't see many of the little ones when I'm doing the filming for underwater. I usually drop a couple of cameras in that way I can keep an eye on how everything is going, see how everybody's interacting. Uh, it's pretty good. The um, I've noticed the silver perch and the goldfish seem to hang out a fair bit together, or most of them. Uh, a couple of the golden perch also hang out around the goldfish and follow them around. I've noticed one of the Murray cod and occasionally one of the barra, the barramundi will follow them around. Now, I know people are going to say, but you've got all those sort of fish in together. Well, the um, silver perch are a smallmouth. So, it sort of, I've got most of those that are around about the same size. They're not going to chew on each other anyway. They're not going to chew on much at all, to be honest. Um... The golden perch and the barramundi are smaller than everything else, uh, only approximately two thirds the size. So it's going to be a while until they start chewing on everything else. Um, I'm hoping that the size differences will stay such that it'll be a while until it's going to be a problem where they start chewing on each other. When I notice that happening, I'll set up another pond and split stuff up if it happens. Um, but at the moment, everything is going along fantastically. The only thing that's getting munched is the mosquito fish. I've seen the barramundi and the Murray cod um, clean up a few of the mosquito fish so far, which, after all, that's one of the reasons they're in here keep down the mozzies and uh, keep algae down along the sides and um, be a food source so they're doing the job that they're here to do so um, the filters are going well uh, let's see, now this has been almost a year, I've only got these two filters using quilt material. Now it comes in, goes into this one, through three three quarter inch pipes into that one, and the same happens that way. Now the far one has got the 12 volt pump that runs off the solar. I don't know if you can see it up there, solar panels. Uh, also up there is the solar panels for the uh, solar air pumps. Um, I've got one of those set up. But uh, this one here is the 240 volt, which only usually gets used when the 12 volts uh, not enough power in it or something like that. A heap of cloudy days. But um, just with this setup, we're looking at a year, and let's see if I can get down here long enough. Can't really see the yabbies, but you can see that um, the pond's pretty clean. Um, now you get your floating debris in there and that, but everything's absolutely loving it, everything's healthy. Um, 
The yabbies are going absolutely great. The yabbies are absolutely booming, to be honest. There's some quite large ones in here. Uh, I was hoping some of my little mates would come up. Usually there's one or two of the barramundi and a few of the uh, silver perch. That as soon as I come over there here, but um, I fed them about half an hour ago, so well, not even that, probably 15 minutes ago, so they're probably somewhere over there having a bit of a munch. So I just thought I'd um, show you that little fish. It's the first little ones that I've noticed in here. First little fish that have been born in here now. Uh, last season there was gabbies that were hatched in here, but that's the first little fish. Uh, I'm not quite sure yet. I might set up another pond to maybe get some sewer perch breeding. I um, haven't really decided, but see how we go. Uh, I'm just about to, to do more plantings. I've taken out the the peas and that that were growing on here. Um, so I'm about to put more more in. Um, it's a bit hard deciding what to get at the moment, so I'm going to go down to the, the home hardware here in town later and pick what what they have and put some in. Alrighty, ladies and gents. Have a great day, and I shall catch you later. See ya.